February is Black History Month. You will see it, hear about it, watch it on the news. My challenge to you is not to let one month define the depth of your engagement with our Black communities. Breathe it, live it, every day, every month. Examine your words, your presumptions, your assumptions. Reach out to a friend of African descent and listen to their story. Read about Black history in the Canadian context, the impact of anti-Black racism, and the reality of white privilege. Act conscientiously and prayerfully. Join public expressions of solidarity towards seeking justice against anti-Black racism. Write to your counselor, your MPP, your MP, and challenge them to do better, to do more. Read our statement of support for anti-racism on our website. Go, be persistently self-aware, analyze your responses constantly, regularly undergo self-examination. Let us pray. A Prayer for White People by Ellen Quadras. Sheltered in our homes or going to work at risk for week after week after week, we're edgy, tired, a little raw. We are tender, vulnerable, open, a little more open than usual. Those of us who are white, who before might have been distracted, who before might have been too busy, who before might have been preoccupied with our lives, are noticing the ways injustice has happened to people of color the same way again and again and again. Now you've become aware, please may we be aware. May we not lose awareness. May we not get distracted. May we not turn away. May we open, really open, accepting the invitation to change, really change our minds, our hearts, our world. When we encounter calls to defund the police, when we encounter calls for reparations, when we hear follow our lead from people of color, May we listen, may we learn, may we be open. Even if it means rethinking everything we thought we knew about the world. We have all of us as humans an enormous opportunity to change one of the oldest injustices in history, to change everything. May we stay vulnerable, may we stay tender, May we take action, eyes and hearts and minds open.